I'm Shikha. You're watching this video from JustTutors.com, and today we are going to learn about square and more pattern. In this video, we are going to learn some interesting pattern to solve square numbers. So let us see that. Before that, there is a warm up for you. What you can do? Just pause the video and try these two questions. Assuming that you have done them, now we can discuss the answer. So here, without adding the numbers below, we need to find the sum. So what we can do here, let's see how many digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, so there are 4, so we'll do 4 square, which is 16, and here in this one, let's see how many digits are there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, so what is the square of 6, that's 36, and that's the answer, so here if you got them as the answer, that's really amazing, and if you're wondering about this trick, then don't worry, because I'm going to discuss that in this video, so here, we are going to learn about some interesting patterns in square number. So this is the first pattern. So here adding odd numbers. So just remember this is applied for only odd numbers. So here this is 1. So square of 1 is 1 itself. Now it's two consecutive odd numbers. That is 1 and 3. So instead of adding them, what you can see, there are only two digits. 1 and 3. So 2 square which is 4. Now here, there are 3 consecutive odd numbers, so once again 3 square which is 9, let's try this one, so how many odd numbers are there, 1, 2, 3 and 4, so what is the square of 4, that is 16, so instead of adding them, you can directly see the digit, just square it and you will get the answer, so just remember this pattern is going to applicable for odd numbers and it's always start from 1, so now we can move further, and learn about this pattern. So here we need to find product of two consecutive even or odd natural number. So it can be applied for both even and odd but they should be consecutive. So let us see this example. So here 11 times 13 we need to find it. So here instead of multiplying them together and get the answer there is a pattern for you. You can write 11 as 12 take away 1 and 13 as add 1. So now this is a theorem or property where a add 1 times a take away 1 which is a square minus 1. So here in this property 1 is fixed we just need to find a and in our this question a is 12. So square of 12 which is 144 take away 1. So we will get the answer as 143. Now we can try this question here. So 14 times 16. So instead of multiplying them together, let's see the number between them. This is 15. So first I'm going to write 15 take away 1, which will give me 14. And then I will write 15 add 1, which will give me 16. And here times. So now I will do 15 square which is 225 and take away 1 so my answer will be 224 so you can check your answer so instead of multiplying them together with this pattern you can get the answer so quickly and easily so therefore it's really helpful for us to learn these patterns to find the square number in an easy way now let's try a practice question this one so here we need to find the square of the following number without actual calculation so here let's try number one so 19 times 21 so the number between them is 20 so we need to find the square of 20 take away 1 so square of 20 is 400 and if we are going to take away 1 from it it will be 399 that's the answer so now what you can do, just pause the video and try the rest of them. Assuming that you have done it, you can check your answer from this slide. And if you got them correct, that's really amazing. You are doing very well here. Just call your parents and show your progress. So thank you for watching the video. For more, please visit JustTutors.com.